I'd like to introduce you Atlas One, a multimodal model that we've been training for the last year to solve the hardest problems in automation. Specifically, it enables something called semantic targets, which distills a automation target down to its underlying intent in simple language. This solves a massive problem that has broken all other automation tools today, including UiPath and Microsoft, when services update their designs. And since all these targets are now distilled down to a probability and language, this also enables models like GPT-4 Vision to finally perform precise actions. Atlas One enables finally future-proof robust automations that will still work even if services completely change their designs. We use this strongest possible foundation for automation to build robust, bleeding edge, product, marketing, and sales agents. To demonstrate the ability for Project Atlas to reason and make choices, I'm gonna give it a generalized problem. For example, we've given Project Atlas the ability to access our entire internal library that allows it to simulate human key presses, clicks, uh, open programs, execute code, simulate voice, generate text, and the ability to access any API up until 2023 that's been trained into GPT-4, the ability to execute any Python library or any open source project, and Project Atlas combines all these sources to deduce the next best step. In this case, you can see that it's realized that it's gone to Google and it's on the Google's home search page. Next, what it needs to do is click the search result bar and enter a search for houses for sale. GPT-4 Vision has taken a screenshot of the screen and now it's gonna trigger Atlas One, as you can see in the top left-hand corner, which goes through all the possible UI elements on the screen and calculates the probability that it matches the intent of the next step of the automation. It's figured out that that search bar is the next step, as you can see. It's clicked it and entered houses for sale for a family of four. Now, the Project Atlas state machine is going to consider the next step. It's going to take a screenshot of the screen and then realize we'll find out next, actually. If you look closely, you can see that it's now on the Google search results page and it needs to click the first non-sponsored search result click. That's pretty cool. It doesn't look like it has any non-sponsored search results available, so it's probably going to get the best probability that it can. Shame on Google. And it looks like it's found the results. Pretty cool. It even has realized that there is a pop-up window, so we need to close the pop-up. That's pretty amazing. I've never seen this before. As you can see, Project Atlas has dynamism, the ability to recover from failures, and the ability to solve arbitrary generalized problems. I'm excited to see what you guys build with it. This even works with product agents that will iterate towards a goal for you. In fact, we've specifically built Cheat Layer Desktop for a future we believe that will occur in about a year when these large language models reach around 500,000 tokens, which allows them to eventually build entire services like HubSpot, Salesforce, LinkedIn in one single prompt. When that future occurs, it'll likely disrupt all SaaS businesses because everyone will have a personal super engineer in their pocket to be able to build basically a custom version of all these services. These services don't have the ability to build custom features for everyone, so they'll be able to build custom features for you, bespoke custom features. It'll be more secure. It'll be hosted locally. It'll be using all the same technologies, open source technologies, because most of these services don't really invent things. Um, and it'll be free. Did I mention it's free? And so this will likely disrupt all SaaS businesses and the only way to avoid this disruption will be to be on the other side of it. We've specifically designed Cheat Layer Desktop to be on that other side, so I invite you to join us. Since launching last April and winning number one product of the day, we've grown from 5,000 users to nearly 28,000 today. I would like to personally thank Product Hunt for that. I very much appreciate it. And as a thank you for the next 48 hours, we're gonna re reduce the task consumption for all users to zero to encourage users to experiment with these new generalized agents. 
And for a limited time, free users can also access Cheat Layer Desktop. Have fun, guys.